Here's a quick look at my uh, homemade uh, epoxy granite CNC mill. I'm gonna be doing like a budget series on how to start a business or make your own machines for cheap and make money for cheap. Runs Mach 3. I don't have this cabinet all the way done yet. It's got the DM556 drivers, the Mach 3 USB board. Um, it's got the NEMA 23s, the one shot uh, oil pump. It goes over around the back of the machine into this distribution block, which sends it to the ball screws and the, the rails and the bearings. Got ball screws on all the axes. This table right here, um, the fourth axis actually is on there, and it's machined so there's like no uh, like no tolerance in between. So it takes like two seconds to uh, get it on to where I need it. There's the fourth axis for this. These are actually the first clamps I made, and I use this uh, CNC mill to make. They're all steel, and then I used aluminum for the grippers. The fourth axis has the uh, power supply and the driver and everything already on it. So all it is is a plug-in. Um, there's the quick connect parts. This will be the tail stock eventually for the fourth axis. Uh, there's one of my fixture plates I was using on this. Uh, right now it's got mist and uh, or air blast. It's on a, a delay mo delay timer module. It's using one of the cheap Harbor Freight silent air compressors. It really is silent, and I definitely recommend it. It's using a servo motor, and it's actually for a sewing machine. It's a uh, like 1.5 horsepower, I believe. Uh, the epoxy granite didn't uh, level out too good right there, but it works fine. The spindle is just uh, two taper roller bearings, and I actually made two bearings that go before that in the middle. And the caps are just cast iron that I machined out on the mill. In the lathe, uh, and it uses the ER20 straight, uh, straight shank. The head is definitely the heaviest part. It's all epoxy granite in the middle, and then there's like foot long sections of. Uh, solid metal that create like a like a box around it all uh, when I get my enclosure this will be for the flood coolant that solenoid right there Let's see if you can see the oiler goes down to the the bearings and the ball screw I'm using uh, dual 60 pound uh, air struts or shocks to support the head. It cuts uh, mild steel fine, 
course, aluminum and plastic and everything in between. Uh, I have not tried stainless, but uh, I don't see why it would. Why, why I wouldn't cut it. These little cheap remotes are actually nice. Especially just for Mach 3's little USB one. Nice cheap setup. I made a control out of one of these cheap uh, computers and then a touch monitor. I gotta tidy up the wiring down here. And it's just on a swivel, so you can turn it wherever you want it. 